Welcome back to New Mini News. If you're new here, New Mini News is our video series where we take a look at new miniature and wargaming releases that we think will be great for Gang Fight, our universal skirmish rules. Gang Fight makes it easy for you to play with any models you wish in any setting you can think of, and the rules are all available for free on our website at gangfightgames.com. If you like what you see here, please help us out and like this video and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help us grow. We found lots of cool stuff this past week, so let's get right into it and show off some cool new minis. Let's start off with Conquest from Parabellum. There are some cool new miniatures that would work great for Chronicle, our fantasy setting. Let's start off with these Werewargs for the Nords. Uh, these are some really great looking werewolf miniatures. Get a close up here, and there's some cool details on these guys. These would work great for the Lycoi faction in uh, Chronicle. And these would be on large bases, so they'll be all large models that cause fear. So that would be pretty cool. And they also have this guy here, the Vargar Lord. He's got a cool looking broken sword and he's a little tougher looking here. So you can see that. Um, one thing about Conquest is it's a 38 millimeter game, so the models are generally larger um, for most average companies, but uh, really cool, lots of really great detail on them, and I really like this guy here, the Ironclad Drake. Um, I'm pretty sure he would be a huge model. Uh, just look at him. Yeah, lots of really awesome detail on this guy. So let's jump over to Spectre Miniatures. So Spectre is basically a modern warfare war game. Uh, they have some cool new releases here for uh, these soldiers here. These would be perfect for our own Modern Warfare uh, rule set, which is called First Strike. Let's take a look at the Task Force Fire Support. These guys have some cool poses. Looks like they have silencers on their guns there, so that's pretty cool. Um, over here they also have this Task Force Breacher. He's kind of like a hero character. And over here, the CQB element. These guys have uh, more close quarter weapons. And they also have this task force element, which uh, you could pretty much buy these three sets, and uh, that would be a really nice sized force that you could use in First Strike. And they have some really cool sculpts, so uh, definitely check them out. So if we jump over to the patron for warp miniatures, so they have some really nice looking gnome models that I wanted to show you. So for November, they released this gnome army here the battle for shroom pass uh, some really cool looking sculpts here if you're into gnomes and these are all 3d files so you will need your own 3d printer to uh to print these guys out but they also have some new gnomes coming in december so they'll be adding to that army so if you sign up in november you can get the full army and then you can add on these new guys that are coming in december and up here they also have this cool little badger troll, he's pretty cool. Um, he's also coming out in December. So yeah, go ahead and sign up for their uh, patron, it only costs 10 bucks a month. And definitely some really cool looking stuff from these guys. And if we jump over to Star Wars Legion, they just announced some new Genosian warriors that are coming out in January, but you can pre-order them now. So these would be great for some winged insectoid aliens in our Aeon game rules. So you get this box set that has seven different guys in it. Um, there's four regular warriors, then there's a leader, and then two guys with uh, different special weapons. They also have this set here, which is Sun Feck and Pablo the Lesser. That would be some special commanders. Um, I like these a little bit better. I think they just have a little bit better poses. So yeah, they would work great for Aeon as an insectoid race if you wanted to add them to your warbands. And now here's a Kickstarter that I found for Broken Star, Kandar. Um, this just launched. It's not quite funded yet. They still have a little ways to go, but it looks like they're on the way. Um, these guys have some really cool looking sculpts here. Let me just scroll down and show you here. So, of course... These would work great for Aeon. And there's some really nice sci-fi soldiers here. And I love the dog. So yeah, you can see they have uh, really great sculpts, so uh, check them out. Uh, I don't think it's too expensive to back this one. And let's jump to 
to another Kickstarter. Um, I talked about these previously. This is uh, the Battle Ready Buildings from Chroma Cut Studios. Um, they have their Kickstarter up now that also just launched. So if we scroll down here, you can see here's what they look like. Um, it's basically wood panels that are printed with uh, patterns on them, so you don't really need to paint them or anything. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, if we scroll down here, you can see there's all the different kinds of all the different kinds of styles that are available. And yeah, they set up easily, and they're, and they're all kind of destroyed looking, so it works great for sci-fi battle battlegrounds. Pretty sturdy here, you can see him dumping some dice on them. And then of course they have other pieces that you can add on, it's all modular. So, so yeah, this is looking great, I'm probably going to jump in on this one myself. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out. Now over here, for some more terrain, I found this uh, Spanish Monastery kit. Um, so this is from Empires at War, it's all laser cut. Um, I can zoom this in here and it should be better. So, yeah, it's all, and it's pre painted, but it's just kind of like basic one color kind of thing. So, you would probably want to add some weathering to it to make it look a little nicer, but they do look pretty good right off the bat. Um, this will be great for historical games. You could use it in Blackwater Gulch, for example. And next, we have this cool looking little goblin house here that I found for some more terrain. So here you go. That's this is from Alternative Armies. Uh, it looks like it's a resin cast. And it looks like it's a hundred millimeters tall, so it'd be pretty good size for terrain. And they have lots of other terrain and cool stuff here. So yeah, check them out if you're looking for some fantasy terrain. And now if we head on over to Games Workshop's website, you can see that they just put up for pre-order the new combat patrols for both Adeptus Mechanicus and the Necrons. So here's the one for the Adeptus Mechanicus right here. Um, it's $160, and you can see it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, let me just click over here and I'll show you the close-ups. So these are some really, really cool models. Uh, here's the sprues here. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in there, 19 miniatures total. And they also have the Sindonian Skatros. Here's the guy on stilts with the rifle. And if we and then jumping over to Necrons, here is the Necron Combat Patrol. Uh, and these guys got a lot of cool stuff in there. There's this guy. There's some really cool uh, models. I love the Necrons. And here's Emotech, the Storm Lord. He's a new leader for this. He's a new leader for the Necrons. Orican the Diviner. I think we showed him off last week. And then here's an Overlord with a Translocation Stroud. And finally, the Royal Warden. I think I like this guy the best. He just looks really nice. And lots of cool new details there. And these are all available for pre-order now on Games Workshop's website. And that is pretty much all that I have for this week. We'll be back next week with a lot more new stuff to show off. And again, if you like what you see here, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll keep bringing you the new mini-news. Thanks for watching.